So this reading tonight is going to be what do you need to work on right now for healing. And we have pile one, two, and three. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and feel which pile you are most drawn to. Remember to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is a collective reading, so it can have many different scenarios in it, and not all of it will fit for you. I hope you enjoy this reading, and we're going to start with pile one. So for pile one, I think there's a need to open your mind to the possibilities, to remember to protect your energy from the energies of others around you, to get in touch more with your intuition and your faith and trust. So first we're going to set up these cards. We got three of cups, six of wands, eight of wands, two of swords, and five of wands. We have the ten of cups, seven of cups. These ones are a little different than normal ones. Six of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. So there's a need to be able to enjoy life in the present moment, to go out, celebrate, have fun, to be with friends, to... Find the people you feel comfortable with and to spend some time just having fun and enjoying the moment. A need to choose love. To choose peace and happiness, to choose to live in a higher vibrational state, expressing your true self and enjoying the moment. To be able to feel complete emotionally in and of yourself. A need to realize that there's enough love to go around. Possibly in your friendships that, you know, just because people are enjoying the company of other people doesn't mean they aren't enjoying your company. A need to express your passions, your desires, your thoughts, your ideas. There may possibly be a need for recognition. A need for recognition of what you want emotionally. There's going to be a victory over, a victory in exploring your emotions. A need to start seeing all of your options clearly. Start noticing that you have a lot of options around you. You're a very recognized person. A need to be able to put in work to heal your emotions. need to help express to others and recognize the options they have as well, possibly. A need to cut through the bullshit. A need to be happy in all the work that you're doing and to know that it will pay off. A need to understand your feelings more and to leave sadness, guilt, shame, any kind of fear or illusions behind. A need to take quick 
action, to take passionate, creative action going forward, to move quickly. If you've been considering a trip somewhere or something along those lines, it would be very beneficial to your help or to your health. I need to take action to give generously and freely. Equal give and take. Being able to give, being able to express the truth of your inner knowledge, the knowledge you have gained through exploring your emotions and finding your happiness. There's a need to be able to express that. There's a need to be grounded in the present moment, balanced. A need to move beyond any kind of conflicts. There's a need to realize it doesn't matter what you have to offer. It may be worth everything to someone who gives of the right things. Realizing that you're this amazingly happy person that a lot of people love. That would probably be a really good thing for you as well because there's a lot of a lot of happiness radiating off of you. The need to find the people you truly belong around so you don't feel any of the conflict anymore going on. A need to be able to listen to your intuition because you may not be able to see clearly with your thoughts right now. You may be a little bit indecisive. So taking the time to go within and to really explore what your intuitions are telling you about a situation. Learning and growth. Realizing that your hard work is going to pay off. There's a need for a lot of hard work right now, but realizing that it's going to pay off. So make the decision to keep to keep working, to keep putting in the effort. There might be a need for some stubbornness behind your actions. And to be stable and grounded in your decisions. There may be a need for attention to details or to gain skills. A need to change old cycles or behavior patterns. Maybe you've been very indecisive in the past. But a lot of that is from not going within to listen to what you really truly want. So being able to do that will give you the ability to be able to change the past cycles of being indecisive to be able to take risks, calculated risks, of course, you still have the need to think rationally before you take action, but at some point you have to make a decision as well. And realizing that all your hard work is going to pay off with abundance. Eight is the number of abundance. So, and so we have, there might be a lot of conflict going on in your thoughts, in your desires in understanding what you want and understanding what direction to go into. There may be a lot of actual fights going on with the people around you or a lot of competition and a need to recognize that healthy competition is okay once in a while, but when it starts getting to be in an unhealthy manner where everyone's fighting for themselves. All anyone is really doing is hurting each other and hurting the team as a whole. Whereas working together tends to work a lot better. We have understanding that you might have been through a whole lot in this situation, there might have been some really big conflict or blowout or some kind of fight or there might have been some kind of competition that really hurt you. You've been through a whole lot and it's been really hard 
going, but the determination will win out in the end. I need to accept that this is the state that things are in right now, that there's a lot of confusion surrounding you, there's a lot of conflicting things going on, but eventually that will clear up. Taking time for self-care is a good thing as well. It will help in that. A need to fight for what you believe in and stand up for yourself, but not in a defensive way, in a way where you're stating your opinions and you're stating your thoughts and your ideas and you're holding to them, but you're being respectful of other people's as well. You might have a lot of defensiveness caused, caused by this conflict that took place. There's a need to go within and heal any of the pain you may have felt through this long journey to be able to leave behind a need to fight anymore. Releasing control over the situation and the outcome is always good for that as well. And just being able to move forward working on yourself while hoping for the best outcome for all involved. There's a need to remove obstacles that may be... And I'm going to go ahead and pull one extra card over here. Oh, we ended up with two. There's a need to be able to decide where your priorities need to be placed. And to be able to go after what you know has the most value. And not necessarily in a, ma in a materialistic way either. It's what has most value to you. To be strong, stable, secure. To be committed, loyal, long-lasting. To have the courage to place your priorities. Knowing that you know from the experience that you've been through, you've gained experience and knowledge of what truly has value to you and where you want to place your priorities and being able to have the courage to do this. And there also could be somebody else in your life that you're questioning and you're unsure of because of past hurts or fights that have gone on and because of past things that have happened in this situation that have caused you to believe your work wouldn't pay off. But this is saying that you can trust them, that they are learning where to place their priorities. And they will have the courage to make some sort of offer to bring stability to the situation. Or you need to have the courage to make some sort of offer to bring stability to this situation. And that you will receive recognition and happiness once you do, once you express your truth, once you're honest, and once you approach the situation with integrity and stability, knowing your own value, knowing your own worth, so that you can have the courage to overcome any obstacles that come your way. Co-create your destiny. Ask and have faith, but put in the work too. The King of Pentacles is somebody who works an awful lot and very hard as well. Make the decision to put in the effort. To put in the effort because you know that whatever it is you're putting the effort in here on is valuable. It's something that's going to pay off in the end. It's something that's going to bring a lot of happiness and a lot of fulfillment. And it's going to bring it from within yourself. Third eye chakra, trust your intuition, the answers lie within. Meditate, journal, draw, write, or take time in nature to be able to see the answers. So once again, trusting your, in your intuition, having faith and belief. Being able to cut through the mental chatter in your brain to be able to bring yourself to a state of peace and calm. So that you can really be able to see clearly without all the fears or doubts or the ego or the pride or anything like that getting in the way. Make room physically and energetically to allow for new to come in. So cleaning house, 
cleaning house of anything that no longer serves you, stepping into your power, stepping into your self-confidence, knowing where the true value lies, where you should be placing your priorities, and getting rid of the things that no longer serve you that you don't feel that you should be working towards anymore. Let what everyone else wants fall away and believe what you want matters. And what that makes me think of, too, is that maybe all this hard work you've put in has been to get to this matured state. The Knight of Wands is somebody who works really, really hard. He works very hard. And he really thinks he's working the hard towards the best things, but a lot of times he's working hard towards the wrong things because he doesn't know yet what has value. And what is really what he wishes to place his priorities in. Which means sometimes he can balance many different things at the same time. Which puts him in a state of slowness or stagnancy as well. But it also, it means he's not giving anything his main focus. Nothing is his main priority. He's got so many projects going on at once that he isn't focused on what really holds the most value for him. And what really brings him the most happiness and if you're a woman I'm sorry I'm just saying him because it's the king it really doesn't matter it's a masculine energy but every woman and man has both in them my dreams come true with you so this very well could be a person in your life who has figured out what has value, and that's you. And it could be you who has figured out what has value, and it's a person that you really want to make your dreams come true with. You want to work together with towards this goal of having this happy family with emotional fulfillment and an abundance of love. Feeling like this person is your person. And is where you want to be. I think that's what I have for this pile. Thank you so much. I have hope you have a beautiful night. And I'm moving to pile two. So for pile two, <clears throat> before I start, I think there's a need to clear out anything that no longer serves you energetically. A need to protect yourself from things that don't serve you. A need to block out any negative energy coming your way from others. For some reason, shadow work just popped in my head as well. So we have, learning to love myself first brings love to me. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. You can lead a man to knowledge, but you can't make him think. Understand your true inner beauty and what it's worth. So there is a very big need for self-love here and for cutting out of anything that doesn't serve you energetically. Cutting out any of those people who really make you feel less than worthy from your life. Focus on moving forward one step at a time. Patience is a virtue and also reaps amazing rewards after working hard and waiting with faith for a harvest. Happiness is found within. Take action to find what brings you inner peace. Smell the roses, solar plexus chakra, willpower and determination. Third eye chakra. Seek solitude, get quiet, remember self-care, connect to your higher self, the answers are within, 
intuition is real. Embrace the blessings life is bringing. Let go of a lack mentality. So a need to gain self-confidence and to trust in the knowledge that you have everything within yourself that you need. That you are strong, stable. That you are capable of anything. Anything you put your heart into, you are capable of. Finding that inner self-worthiness and love. Being able to enjoy the little things and have gratitude for everything going on around you. Being able to just trust in and enjoy the journey that you're on, knowing that everything that you're going through right now is for your highest good and will bring you the lessons that you need to be able to accept in love. You can't accept in love like the love we all really want. Unless we love ourselves first. Unless we are able to see really just how much we are worth and our true value. Take the time out to be able to clear your mind. Clear your mind of the doubts or the opinions of others or the thoughts and negativity coming your way. Find quiet to be able to just concentrate and connect to yourself your inner self to really truly go within and understand yourself another thing that might be really good for you is to when you're taking a shower imagine the water washing off any of the negative energy washing it down the drain taking with it any of the things that people are throwing your way, any of the negativity they're throwing your way, any of the negativity you're throwing your own way. Feeling all your mus muscles relax as it washes off and down the drain. And imagining yourself filling up with light. It's a good way to cleanse and clear your energy. And so, let's see. Ten of Wands, King of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and the Magician. Hmm. We have the Queen of Wands. These are a little bit different in this deck. But Nine of Swords, Two of Cups. King of Swords again, and Four of Pentacles. Okay, so. We have intimacy, creativity, strong, stable, new projects or ideas, psychic inspirations, sassy, positive, flirty, love, self, Fun, fiery, passionate, spiritual. Caring and nurturing for self and of self and others. Protective, affectionate, and camaraderie. This is also about self-confidence. Inner worth. Being able to stand up for what you believe in and express your passions, your thoughts, your ideas, your creativity. To be able to show that to the world, not worried what anyone thinks. Somebody who can... Taking, taking up the responsibility to come to this level. Where you can really be positive, fiery, fun, passionate, and show all these sides without feeling a need to be burdened or shamed or guilted because of it. There may have been someone in your life maybe who... You know, if you are, if you connect more to a feminine energy, then you are this fiery, passionate, spiritual, spiritual leader, a spiritual, or an inspiration to others.
somebody who's very sought after is a good way to put that too. And if you are more in a masculine energy, you might be the person that's a little bit more logical, analytical, very logic-based, somebody who's a mature communicator, but somebody who also sometimes can be biting, who can seem cold or aloof, somebody who is very, and a very effective diplomat, very diplomatic. somebody who is very intelligent overcoming fears expressing yourself regardless of what others think seeing something worth courage cycles coming to a close new life after death new growth proper boundaries releasing fears and anxieties and leaving anxiety behind so maybe this person in the past abused their power Maybe they might have possibly manipulated situations. They may have lied. They may have abu They may have been possessive or controlling or harsh or blunt and hurtful with their words. They may have been somebody who was very who really was very intimidated by all the recognition you get possibly too. Somebody who could have been very logic based only and this is a spiritual person over here as well. So, you know, letting go of people who no longer serve you or things that no longer serve you. So maybe letting go of the fears of this person. This person, I think, has transformed to find balance, is really adapting and able to be more flexible at this point. We also have new friendship, new love, emotional stability, new beginnings together, equal give and take emotionally, balanced partnership emotionally, cute, fun, flirty, emotional connection, my best friend brings out the best in me. So you may also be trying to decide where to place your priorities. There may have been an old person in your life that you're thinking about giving it another go with. I would say listen to your intuition on that. But to be able to overcome, you have to overcome the fears to be able to open up that friendship again. And if this is somebody who really brings out the best in you, or maybe they have realized that you bring, it, bring out the best in them because the Queen of Wands is somebody who inspires others to go after what they desire and what their passions are. And somebody who really supports people in their dreams. It's like a cheerleader, kind of. It's like their own personal cheerleader. Shh. So maybe they have transformed, found this balance, and are starting to question, you know whether or not they want to place their priorities in you because maybe they haven't in the past. And now they're starting to find that emotional balance and starting to realize that you really are their best friend, somebody who really brings out the best in them, inspires them. Shh. I'm going to grab an extra card for that spot. <laughs> There's a lot of twos here, which means finding balance. There's a really neat... A very heavy need for balance here. Shh. Balancing your thoughts and your emotions. Being able to focus on where you want to go and planning and taking one step at a time to get there. Shh. Sorry about that. So anyway, there's a need to seek this quiet space to really go over everything that's happened here, to analyze it. And really, I think, or this person has pulled away from you, like pulled way away from you and is taking that time to go over thoughts and details. 
There may have been some manipulation games or ego going on here. Somebody might have been overly obsessed with somebody else or controlling. There's a need to rest and reflect to be able to see new things that have been missed in the past. Fixated, logical, stuck on something or someone. Smart, analytical, mature communicator. Time to speak the truth. So, I think it's time to find the truth within yourself. To be able to go over this whole situation. And to see things that you might not have seen the first time around. Maybe about this person as well. And you know, a lot of times in dealing with a Queen of Wands person, people can get really jealous or envious of how much attention they get. It might become a very heavy burden on them with the amount of fears because of how amazing this person is, a very fiery, passionate person. It attracts a lot of attention when somebody is so inspiring and motivating. Somebody is so inspirational. When somebody instills such camaraderie in others and makes them feel so comfortable. Because this is someone who makes people feel very comfortable. There's a need to focus only on what you want to manifest and bring into this situation. To be able to ground yourself and to stand your ground with stability and ease. Being able to hold back to grow slow and steady. Being able to hold out knowing that it's worth it. Refusing to be controlled. Being controlled or withholding info. Magically transforming your foundation. So there's a need to really find stability within yourself to be able to Hold your boundaries in place to be able to, if this person decides they want to come in and they want to come in fast, there's a need to make sure that you're going at the speed you're comfortable with. You have all the skills necessary, all the tools at your disposal and with, within yourself to be able to manifest the life that you want, to be able to work and take action to produce results. To be able to envision 